Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review the Heikenachi bars. This type of bars can be found as an indicator on Ninja Trader. You only need to apply the Heikenachi indicator to your chart and you wait, and with it you get very smooth bars. Let's take a look at the difference with or without the indicator. We are using a five minute chart, which is very hard to, to get a smooth price action. And the good of these bars, the Heikenachi, is that they can be used with any, any time frame. On other time frames, like for example the Renkos, we get a very smooth price action so it is very very useful to detect trends but with the Heikenashi we can use any any bar type y any, uh, and any time frame on a standard minute bar chart usually it is very difficult to to detect the trend by looking at the color of the bar the color of the bar means the trend direction if we take an entry each time the bar color changes a very easy setup as the open close setup we enter long when the bar changes to green or short when the bar changes to red on a classic five minute chart or most of other time frames we don't get a very smooth price action let's see for example if we place a marker each type the bar changes color then we get a lot of signals Assuming that we are entering the market each time we have a trend change, so a color change. This will be the entries entering at each trend change using the standard bars now if we use the Heiken Ashi you can see that this signal is not present Same for this one. And also these other two signals are not present. So we get a smoother trend definition. The, the Heiken Ashi indicator changes the open and the close of each bar. Those are the parameters that define if we have an up bar or a down bar. This is an up bar because this is the open and the close is over the open. 
on it. The down arrow, the open is over the close. So this is a down arrow. If we remove the Heiken Ashi, we can see that we have several bars in the middle that uh, don't have the same direction. The Heiken Ashi changes the open and the close for each bar to get a smoother trend, uh, trend direction. Let's see some applications. If we want to use this same setup, enter in the market each time we have a, a trend color change, but using the Heiken Ashi, then we need to to, to signal the open and the close of the Heiken Ashi bars. When we apply the Heiken Ashi indicator, we can see that it has its own setting for the open, high, low, and close. So if we want to indicate when there is a color change on the bars, so when the close, when the bar closes on the other side of the open, then we need to have those values, the open and the close of the Hekin Ashi, on variables. We can use the marker plus tool to copy those values. For example, the Heiken Ashi open from the indicator Heiken Ashi with the plot open. And we do the same with the copy indicator on the variable Heiken Ashi close from the indicator Heiken Ashi on the close line. I will use a different color for the open in color gold. And now we have the two variables. And when we have a cross of this line, that means that the close uh, changes the direction of the trend. Each time we have a crossover, the bars change color. These lines that we see as open and close are not the real open and close of the bars. If we, reno if we remove the Heiken Ashi, we can see the reality. We can see here that this is the close and this is the open. And they are not uh, near close from the real open and close values. But the result is much, uh, much, much more smoother. So now if we want to signal the crossovers, so we have a signal each time there is a color change, we can use the crossover indicator when the Heiken Ashi close crosses with the Heiken Ashi open and I want a threshold of at least one tick to avoid noise in the change of the signals and when that happens I paint a 
triangle up for crosses to the upside and a triangle down for crosses to the downside. And here we have the signals. If we want to test the, the performance of those signals, we can use the markers system to automate the signals. For that, we apply the marker plus indicator set it to trade the replay account enter long on triangle ups enter short on triangle downs the color of the signal is orange red and green so we put that on markers green for the up signals and orange red for the down signals I will also set a limit on the time from 6 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. For the test I will use a very basic ATM with a single stop and target fixed. In automatic mode, longs and shorts enabled. Go to rewind market replay to 6 a.m. And now we can see how it takes the signals. For this example, I, I am using the crossover indicator on intrabar mode. So we get the cross signals at the exact tick they happen. The only problem is that we may have fake signals. If, for example, at this cross, the, when the bar finishes, it is not not uh, finally crossing then that signal will be fake the first long failed and then the short reverses reverses the position and now we are short order filled. the target and stops are big so usually this Order setup will filled. just keep reversing. Order filled. Most of the time it will not reach the targets Heart or the stops. Filled. Order filled. Heart Order filled. Order filled. Order filled. Order, order, fill. Here, here we have order, one, fill. two, order, three fill. fake signals because order, we are fill. using the intra bar analysis for order, the crossover. Filled. Order, filled. If, if we set the crossover indicator at bar close, then those signals should not appear. But of Heart course, filled. we get a delayed entry. Order, filled. Order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Tar order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Order filled. Order filled.
Tar order filled. Order filled. Order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Order filled. As we can Target see, filled. this setup used on a classic mini chart will produce a lot of signals with a very low result. So this this indicator, the Heiken Ashi, is very useful to to smooth the trend on all type of uh, time frames and bar types, but not only to minute chart. We can test it with, for example, I will remove everything but the Heiken Ashi. If we change the time frame to range for example we get also a very small price action we, we can see the difference is if, if, if we remove the the Heiken Ashi. We can see that here the the price action is much much less smooth. A lot of color changes. So with this, the Heiken Ashi is very useful for all all bar types, <coughs> Inclu including ticks, for example. On, on a tick chart is very useful also this is a tick chart look at the, la at the last downtrend if we add the Heiken Ashi now it is all all red on the downtrend Hope this explanation of the Heiken Ashi and the possible setups that we can create with it has been useful for you. And if you have any question, please post below this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.